Hi, it's Cassandra coming back with another video. I hope everyone's doing fine and well and everything. I was just uh, thinking about you guys and just wanted to pop in and say hi. You know, I was just thinking about uh, all the changes that the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses are uh, making, you know, with their uh, all their rules and regulations and everything. And I was just thinking about my mother. You know, uh, she was in that uh, Jehovah's Witnesses uh, for a long time, you know, and um, you know, when she passed away and everything, uh, you know, they, didn't, they hadn't made all these changes and everything, but they was teaching them words like propaganda and stuff like that, saying that uh, the news were lying on them and it was all propaganda. And, uh, you know, I was just thinking about, you know, uh, how she would feel, you know, with the whole, with all these changes of beers and pants for women and no ties and uh, whatever else that they come up with. Uh, you know, no underwear or whatever, you know, that they could uh, tell these people and, and uh, they would listen and do it. So anyway, uh, I was just thinking how uh, she would feel. And I know that she would really be happy and, and, you know, just going along with everything. It wouldn't make her any difference because she actually took the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, like a uh, mental institution, like mental institution for real. She was just like uh, taking it like, the life at the time that she took the Jehovah's Witnesses, she was really going through a lot with her uh, her husband. You know, like I said before, he was an alcoholic and everything, and she had had a lot of children. Uh, she went through a lot in her life. So to uh, just uh, go into somewhere where they told you that everything was going to be all right, you know, uh, it was like uh, giving them their uh, medication of the Washtown Awakes, the daily texts and everything, the just going out and getting fresh air, you know, with the whole field service and everything, you know, field service, you know, it was just like uh, either a prison or a mental institution or anything that you could uh, think of for people who were like sick and needed help. And this is what she did. And uh, whatever they told her, it was okay with her. You know, she just took them like it was a doctor of uh, prescriptions that, you know, that was prescribed and, you know, she just took it like any other a uh, person would take medicine that they thought that their doctor was giving them. She felt like the uh, uh, governing body uh, at that time, the society, was in the place of Jesus, and he was the healer. You know, they were the healers who were giving them their medicine, their food, and everything at the proper time. And so she uh, took that on, and she just really thought that they, that was uh, her saving uh, grace. And uh, she also uh, raised us into that, and we were like being uh, raised in prison also. And to have all the, uh, just, you know, not being able to speak your mind, not being able to relax, not being able to be a child. It was like really being uh, in a mental institution or a prison or something as a child. And then growing up thinking that that was normal. And then you had to really know that it's not normal for somebody like me. I thought that it's not really normal, but really still taking in stuff anyway, because, you know, you, you know, you, you, you being taught something uh, um, uh, over and over again, you actually start taking in some things, you know, even if you, your mind is trying to work against that thing, it's still, a, it's still affecting you. And so to get out of something like that and then just try to, you know, reinvent yourself and everything. And this is the, the place that I find myself in, you know, even at uh, 56 really on, in, in June. You know, just trying to, you know, reinvent myself, re, uh, just analyze things and just be free. You know, doing some things that's really like still childish or whatever, but just to be me, you know, this is what I'm doing. And uh, I'm just hoping that you guys are just really experiencing your lives and everything, uh, not with fear. You know, uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses taught us to live in fear. And it was really going against the Bible that they said that they believed in, but, you know, I, of course, they have their scriptures and everything and uh, whatever the man changes to, excuse me, <clears throat> whatever they change their scriptures to, they go along with it. But I'm still uh, thinking that they have that uh, perfect love uh, cast out fear. And so to walk around in fear all the time is meaning that uh, you have to work on love again, you know, self-love and, and love for others. So this is what I'm uh, hoping that you guys are doing, really loving yourselves and, and being at peace with yourselves and just <laughs> that was T'Challa uh, showing me some love. So <laughs> just being being at peace and everything with yourselves. 
and uh, just loving each other. This is what uh, I'm, I'm hoping and I'm wishing and I'm sending you all my love and uh, everything. And I hope that uh, everyone's uh, having a great day. Thank you for watching.